Yo, what's going on guys? Go sit back on the MLB The Show 7-2, man. And this is gonna be pretty much the first roster update of the year. It was released today. I know this video is gonna be a little bit late, but I had a baseball game. Apologize for that, but yeah, I mean, there was a roster update last week, but it was more so really just position changes, but I saw there's some pretty beastly upgrades to players that were made, and yeah, I haven't seen all of them, but I have seen a few. Mitch Hanniger gonna get a plus nine, you see right there. Aaron Judge plus eight definitely, definitely deserves it, getting a big beef up in power. Steven Susan Jr. from a raise, man. I mean, he was the player of the week, getting a plus four to a 77. Bryce Harper looking like MVP Harper again. Plus five and seven on contact, plus eight and six on power, and plus seven on vision to a 94 overall, a plus four. Big upgrade for him. Curtis Granderson moving over to right gets the jump to silver. Jason Hayward getting a plus two, getting a little bit of power and a little bit of contact. He is now a silver as well. Mookie Betts getting a plus one, just getting plus six on his vision. So him and Harper, two diamonds, just getting even better. Um, I don't think there's changes to these. I They might have just moved positions, but the only downgrade, Carlos Gonzalez going to be losing some contact and some power down to an 82 overall. Going to center field, got AJ Pollock. Like, a, I don't know. For some of these, I don't know if they got an upgrade. I mean, okay. Frank the Gutierrez, finally they put his power down. I don't know what he was doing having 90 power on each, but... That, that seems at least realistic. His power was insane, if you guys remember it. It was both in the 90s, and he was like a budget. He was a budget dream, but going on to left field, Andrew Benatendi, everybody's favorite prospect, getting a plus two to a 79, just about at silver, getting a big upgrade in contact and a little bit of discipline. Marcelo Zuna getting a plus two, getting a power upgrade. I think he's going to go gold this year. Don't know about diamond, but gold definitely. Taylor Motter for the Seattle Mariners was with my Rays, man, but we got rid of him. I'm pretty sure we traded him. Uh, he gets some upgrades versus righties, getting a plus 5 to a 76. Addison Russell, bunch of, like, you know, just balancing him. When it's all said and done, he's going to get a plus 1 to a 79 overall. Over to third base, only one that we see is Chase Headley getting some upgrades versus righties. Losing three on contact versus left, but getting a plus three to a 78. At second base, we got Cesar Hernandez getting some power and some contact upgrades, getting a plus three to an 84. Watch out, bro. The Phillies almost have a gold. The Phillies almost have a gold. Rugnan Odor loses some contact. Ah, that sucks. He was one of my favorite players to use, kind of just to stick on the bench. Devin Travis gonna get a minus three, losing some power, some vision. And some contact moving over to first the big one go right away Freddie Freeman a plus four from a gold to a diamond you see plus eight on both contact and power versus left really got him over the hump plus seven on vision as well and also some upgrade he got upgrades on everything hitting a plus four to a 92 Ryan Zimmerman a much deserved jump up to a 77 could be going silver pretty soon he's been hitting really really solid and will myers going over to gold getting some contact upgrades losing some vision and discipline but he is gonna get the jump to a gold tier player jose bray who getting a minus two losing five contact versus right and four contact and power versus lefties and power versus righties so i really don't know why there's just random players there obviously goldschmidt didn't change position Posi posi positions moving on catchers um we don't have any this is really dumb we do have a plus three to rasio iglesias moving to gold i did have this car which is good plus 23 on velo i like that a lot plus eight on caper nine like that a lot plus five on hits per nine like that a lot too should be maybe one of my go-to pitches now in the pen craig kimbrell plus two up to an 88 getting a plus eight in walks per nine Hopefully should be able to control his pitches a bit more now going on to relievers a plus 28 uh, Plus 27 up to a 33 for some reason Christian Bittencourt was like a six overall that was pretty funny But he's still only a 33 still disrespectful though Ra uh, Brad Brock getting a plus four now an 84 overall this guy is a budget beast go pick him up 
Uh, Brad Peacock getting a plus 9. Chris Devensky, a plus 8 to an 84. Getting a plus 18k for 9. Pretty good right there. A lot of relievers. I'm assuming a lot of these didn't actually, you know, change. And we're just looking kind of for the big names because there was a lot that got changed. On to starting pitching. James Paxton's been great so far. For Seattle, one of their few good starters so far. Getting a plus 2 to stamina. Uh, plus 3 to hits per 9. Plus 11 K per 9. And plus 6 box per 9. Have this card as well. Going to be a good, solid goal player. And only going for about 1.2K or something like that. Jason Vargas, plus 5 up to an 80 overall now. We got 6 pages. Uh, we already saw that one. Dylan Bunny getting a plus 4. He's good into the silver tier with a plus 4. A lot of just dispersed upgrades for him. Um, we do have Carlos Carrasco. He was already a goal, but going to be a bit of... A little bit higher, up to an 87, getting a stamina boost. Always good with stamina boost. Danny Duffy getting a boost, 82 overall now. And we don't see any downgrades, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I know I kind of like jumbled through it. It was kind of weird, but I, I don't remember last year ever having that many upgrades. But definitely, definitely some cool changes to cards. Freddie Freeman is the new diamond. He's the first to go diamond from gold. And Bryce Harper, I thought, I really was hoping that they'd, you know, give Harper the nod. He's now a 94 overall. He definitely, definitely deserves it. You've seen Freddie Freeman's price just got spiked up right there, of course, now going diamond. And uh, just check out Bryce Harper. Just quick price check, 175k. I'm pretty sure this card was going for like 100k or okay like 115k before now imagine the national set just got even more expensive crazy to think but now the Dawson is going to be even more valuable but that is going to be the roster update like I said sorry that it's going to be a day late but a lot of cool upgrades let me know if anybody got missed out let me know if you had any of these players and let me know if you're going to pick some of these players up. Definitely a cool roster update. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smack a like button down below. Helps your boy out. Alright, man. That was about all that, man. But, yeah. That being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And later, you guys. Come to you. Love is love. And hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure. And I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up and out of space You know I'm in my zone, you know I'm in my zone I took a bite of the glory, I tell you how